pressure that the human civilization is now putting on those planetary resources are actually putting our own uh, survival as a civilization at risk. The big winning solution against climate change in the, in the near term is going to be from the land. Why landscapes approach is really something that, ha that whose time has come and that all of us should really work together to enable this approach. You remember just two years ago we, we had a war agriculture day and forest day. We now have landscape day. The focus of the forum is being highly relevant to the global effort here to tackle climate change and also the broader global effort to achieve sustainable development. We figured out it's a good idea, but now we now need to dig in and figure out what's the how. How do we do it? Incentives, both positive and negative, although there is a sheer, a huge global deficit today of positive incentives. We have a, a carrot crisis on our hands. Todos los programas globales deben ser respetuosos con los derechos de los pueblos indígenas. Y el principal elemento de vida que no, para nosotros que es la tierra. Y es ese enfoque de paisaje en la política pública. Es cómo entendemos y dejamos la mirada sectorial para tener una mirada verdadera de gestión del territorio. The scale of landscape approach is so significant that we cannot do it alone. We want the research, we need the research, but we want it in a form that is understandable and that is usable. Left unchecked, climate change has the potential to become a significant barrier to our growth and that of nearly every other sector. That's why there's a strong business case for taking climate change out of the value chain. Nosotros creemos que sí es posible combatir el cambio climático y además tener crecimiento económico, que no tenemos que optar entre generar empleos y combatir la pobreza o combatir las emisiones de efecto invernadero. Se pueden hacer las dos. And whether we talk about rights, finance or research for landscapes, we must not be afraid to think big, very big. We believe that the science is clear, that the economics are compelling. How you integrate this into your vision of your country's future is exactly what's at stake here at COP20 and between this meeting and Paris.